One day, while walking along the banks of Ganga, Shantanu saw a young boy. The young archer had tamed the mighty river Ganga with a barrage of arrows. Shantanu had never seen such skill. Then Ganga appeared before him and she told that the young boy was his own son Devavrat. Ganga told that Devavrat was taught the knowledge of the Shastras by the sage Vashishta and the art of warfare by sage Parashuram. After revealing the truth about Devavrat, Shantanu was on cloud nine. His joy knew no bounds. Then the king Shantanu brought Devavrat to the palace and celebrated his advent by declaring him the crown prince of his kingdom. Devavrat was very brave and looked highly promising. Years passed, King Shantanu was getting old and declared his retirement. One day, while travelling near the banks of river Yamuna, he came across Satyavati, an adopted daughter of the chief of fisherman of a village. Upon seeing her, Shantanu fell in love with her and desired to marry her. So Shantanu went to meet Satyavati's father, the fisherman chief, and asked him for the hands of her daughter. Her father agreed to the marriage on one condition that Satyavati's son would inherit the throne of Hastinapur. King Shantanu was unable to give his word on accession as his eldest son Devavrat was the heir to the throne. However, Devavrat came to know about this and for the sake of his father, he gave his word to the chief that he would renounce all his claims to the throne in favour of Satyavati's children. Shaman chief, he also vowed lifelong celibacy to ensure that future generations born of Satyavati would also not be challenged by his offspring. Upon hearing this vow, Satyavati's father immediately agreed to the marriage of Satyavati and Shantanu. Devavrat also took another vow that he would always see his father's image in whoever sat on the king's throne and would thus serve the king faithfully and truthfully. Devavrat was named as Bhishma because of the terrible oath he took. After that, he took Satyavati with him as a new mother with her father's permission. Upon returning with Satyavati to Hastinapur, he told about his vow to his father. Upon hearing about this Shantanu, upon hearing this, Shantanu became highly impressed and gave him a boon of Icha Mrityu, that is, control over his own death. He could choose the time of his death, making him immortal till his chosen time of death.